good morning I'm coming to you live from the oil boom town of Williston North Dakota I've decided to record a short video for you folks this morning um, there are a lot of people showing up here in Williston North Dakota to get rich on the North Dakota oil boom um, I had something take place yesterday that has inspired me to try and make a little video to get on the internet to let people know some of the things that you should probably know before you head up here. I met a couple of young ladies yesterday that are up here from Iowa City, Iowa. I'm uh, from Nebraska myself so that kind of hit home a little bit. That's pretty close to home. Um, real nice young ladies and when I say young I'm talking probably very early 20s mid 20s at the latest they've been up here about a week um, they're still living in their van they still haven't found a job and they don't have a place to live the first thing you need to know before you head to North Dakota to get rich is there's no place to live up here if you don't find an employer that provides housing in one of these man camps um, you're pretty much out of luck here um, I had an old couple pull through the place that I'm staying last night asking if it was a hotel um, and I had to explain to them that yeah it's kind of a hotel um, it's a place that charges seven hundred dollars a week for a room with a two burner cook stop stove, a full size refrigerator, a microwave, and uh, a bed and a TV. The, they clean the room once every two weeks. Um, if you want towels or have anything that you need after the office closes at six o'clock at night, they charge you $10 for anything that, that you have to interrupt someone after the office hours to take care of. That would include questions about why I can't connect to the internet, um, I need towels, uh, whatever the case may be, there is a substantial $10 charge for anything that disturbs the people after the office is closed. Um, hotel rooms, if you're fortunate enough to be able to find one, are costing about $200 a night. Um, it's really really windy yesterday the wind blew about 50 miles an hour constantly and that went on all night and it's supposed to go on all day today the real temperature in the 40 degree range uh, makes with the wind makes it feel like it's more like 15 or 20 degrees when you're outside in the wind um, it's gonna get unbelievably cold up here so any of you people that are from places much further south than this is um, you need to be prepared for that if you can imagine this 50 mile an hour wind with a temperature of maybe 0 or 10 below I mean they get wind chills up here that are into the 60 to 80 degrees below zero range I mean your skin can freeze in a matter of seconds so um, don't come up here unprepared for the cold because it's going to be here and it's going to be here pretty quick I mean, uh, this town of Williston, it's in the northeast corner of the state. We're about uh, 60 miles from the Canadian border, um, and we're only about 30 miles from the Montana border. So um, it's a winter wonderland up here in the wintertime. Be prepared for that, especially considering the fact that you may not be able to find a place to live. As far as jobs go, you can find a job up here anywhere. Um, the retail infrastructure in this town is so far behind in being able to support the amount of population that is up here now. Um, any place you go, you can plan on waiting uh, an unbelievable amount of time. It can take you two to three hours to arrive at a restaurant and be finished with your meal. Um, you can go to Walmart and spend anywhere from an hour to two and a half hours um, just to purchase a handful of items. Um, just to give you an example right now, the Walmart up here um, is starting people on the day shift at $17 an hour. 
if you'll work the night shift uh, overnight stocking or cashiering they're starting people at 1925 an hour and they're guaranteeing 10 hours of overtime so um, I met a couple of guys up here from Idaho who left their wives at home, took the motor home, came to Williston. They're working the night shift at Walmart. They're going to plan to work here for about a year and sock away all of the money that they can um, and then go back to the wives uh, and live off the money they've made here. Um, motor homes, if you have a motor home, there is an RV park. Um, it's uh, $900 a month for a place to park your RV um, and that requires access to your bank account or a credit card they don't depend on you to bring them a check for the rent uh, they just want to be able to take it directly out of your account or charge it to your credit card and if that's not an option then you don't get to park your RV there um, it, it really is an unbelievable situation I, I just can't imagine um, a young person coming up here without knowing some of these things and being unprepared for what you're going to find when you get here. Um, there are people sleeping in vehicles all over the place. I see people sitting on their duffel bags in front of the gas stations and convenience stores. Um, and as I said, these two young ladies yesterday uh, really hit home. They kind of fired up that paternal instinct and that's what's uh, convinced me to try and put this little video together here. Um, every business in town has a help wanted sign up um, and as I said they the, the retail uh, infrastructure here is ill prepared for the amount of people that they're having to deal with. Um, if you have a real nice vehicle um, and you're proud of the paint job on the front of your car or your windshield you probably don't want to drive that vehicle up here because um, there are semis by the hundreds um, and in North Dakota I'm you know what a rumble strip is um, just if you don't know what that is if you've ever been on a highway someplace um, and the, you're coming up to a stop sign and they have those ridges in the road that that make that noise when you go across them to let you know you're coming up on a stop sign well North Dakota highways have this uh, these rumble strips actually uh, in the middle of the lanes and on both sides on the highways so you can be driving down the highway and if a semi just veers slightly to the left or the right and gets into these rumble strips they pick up all the little rocks and pebbles and small boulders that have settled into those rumble strips and they'll throw them right into the front of your car I have a brand new vehicle I've had it about a month and a half um, and I've tried to avoid the highways as much as I can because of that but I've got at least a dozen nice size rock chips with the paint gone on the front of my brand new car um, one of the businesses in town that's doing extremely well is the windshield repair companies um, so if you can imagine these rocks being thrown up by all of these semis um, people are having to have their windshields fixed at record numbers um, I was just reading in an article that um, for, for one well, from the time they decide where the well is going to be until it's completed, it takes 2,000 trucking events. That means a truck arrives or departs from that oil site 2,000 times before it's pumping oil and ready to just be on its own. So, um, if you, like I said, if you got a real nice vehicle, you might want to find an old beater if you're going to head up this way. Um, to try to cash in on this oil boom. Um, the place that I just left where I'm staying is about five miles from the beginning of Williston and we're just about to that point right now. There's really only one main retail street in the town and we're on it right now. It's Highway 2. Um, it runs east and, or excuse me, runs uh, north and south. And this stoplight right here is kind of the beginning of the business section of Williston. So it's about a five or maybe seven, eight minute drive from my hotel to get to the edge of town here. I'm going to take you through this little retail strip. It's only about a mile, a mile and a half long. Um, if you're into restaurants, you know, we've got a McDonald's, we've got a Taco John's, and we have an Arby's and a Hardee's. That's it for fast food. Um, there's one Applebee's restaurant. 
and then there's a couple of uh, Chinese buffets and a Grandma Sharon's family cafe and that's pretty much it a couple of pizza places there's a pizza hut and a couple of others but you're not gonna find a plethora of places to eat here I've been up here about a month um, and I'm already tired of all the choices and options and part of the problem again is um, you know the most popular places with the best food are the places where you have to wait the longest so I've learned that when it's time to eat instead of deciding what you want to eat you go find the place with the shortest line and and pick something from their menu um, that's the other thing here you can remove the words real quick from your vocabulary you know like I'm gonna run to the bank real quick that's not gonna happen up here nothing happens real quick um, the banks are short of help every retail business here is short of help um, restaurants close early because they don't have any staff um, the banks close at 4 o'clock they're not open on Saturdays there are many banks that you might use where you live now that don't even exist up here if you're a Wells Fargo customer forget about it if you're a Bank of America customer forget about it if you're a Bank of the West customer forget about it those banks aren't up here in North Dakota um, they some of them are available in places like Fargo but over here on the the northwestern side of the state you just won't find any um, as you can see there's quick shops gas stations um, the hotels up and down the strip are completely full um, you see these uh, oil worker pickup trucks everywhere you go um, and it's just it really is kind of a dreadful place I hate to say that um, I feel so sorry for the native people who've lived there here all of their lives who are having to put up with this with no real benefit everything they have to buy costs more every place they have to go takes more time um, you know the the beautiful scenery is becoming obliterated with uh, oil wells everywhere um, I was up at uh, Teddy Roosevelt National Park um, and guys were complaining about how it used to it in the evening at nighttime it was a, a beautiful you know dark landscape now everywhere you look you see these uh, natural gas burn off uh, flares where they're burning off the excess natural gas so there's these little fires going all over the countryside you know the, it's really taken away their tourism industry because the people that might want to come here as a tourist can't find a hotel room and everything is so ungodly expensive um, that they don't have any tourism anymore it, it's all about this oil boom and people thinking that they're gonna get up here and get rich um, you can make a lot of money these average oil workers are running about a hundred thousand dollars a year they work a lot of overtime they work like 14 days in a row and then 14 days off um, so it's not that you can't get up here and find a job and make money your biggest issue here is finding a place to live um, so I just wanted to put this little video together uh, as I said between the two young girls that I met yesterday that are still living in their van and the old couple that just arrived in town last night from upper Michigan thinking that they could just find a hotel room when they got here those things aren't gonna happen folks you need to be prepared for the worst um, because unfortunately that's what you're gonna find when you get up here um, I wish I had a more positive report for you um, but that's just how it is I'm just arriving here at Hardee's it looks like we're not too bad this morning yesterday it was about seven cars in line ahead of me but I'm gonna grab a bite of breakfast here um, good luck to anybody that's headed this way you know be prepared for the worst because that's what you're gonna find when you get to Williston North Dakota